Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I don't want you to miss an upload from me and sometimes YouTube does not push out those videos. So make sure you guys are tuned in. Okay y'all, so in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all some of the things that I picked up in New York and also some luxury items that I've added to my collection. When I did my New York Fashion Week vlog and also my New York Fashion Week Q&A, you guys were asking me what I bought and I told you guys I didn't buy too much. I didn't have the time that I really wanted to shop like that. Um, I did go out to the outlets, which is Woodbury Commons and I highly recommend you guys check out Woodbury Commons. They have everything. Um, I was not able to go to all the stores that I wanted to, but I did pop into a couple of stores and bought a couple things, but nothing too much. Um, I feel like the discounts are really good. And like I said, I do highly recommend. Also did stop into Bergdorf's really quickly because I needed to pick up a tie um, to go with uh, an outfit that I had. So um, I was able to look around in there maybe 10 minutes, you know, but they had the best shoe selection ever, but I didn't pick up anything. I just bought a tie. So anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing some of the items that I picked up and some luxury items that I have added to my collection, go ahead and stick around. Okay, y'all. So of course I would film my intro and the camera went dead. So um, I'm back after about an hour of charging this camera. So my sit down camera, it takes forever to charge. And yeah, I may look a little bit different. Your girl done had a little champagne and yeah i'm actually going out after this so you know a little pregame don't hurt but let's go ahead and get into the things that i picked up while i was in new york okay so we can start off with the dylan lex pieces um like i told you guys in the q a i did go to the dylan lex event that was hosted by carolyn gray had an amazing time and i've been following dylan lex online for years okay and i love their aesthetic very like edgy ornate um jewelry kind of like distressed a bit so i had to pick up a couple of pieces i went for gold instead of silver um even though i feel like dylan lex is known for more of their silver pieces beyonce has worn their their pieces um tiana taylor has worn their pieces beyonce actually wore their pieces in the um y'all hate us corny for that illuminati mess what's this song called formation <laughs> the formation video so um i went ahead and picked up this piece and i did wear this in my actual q a video so this is it it's called gilded something i don't remember but i will definitely link it down below and also put the name uh down below as well the reason why i went for this is because i feel like i don't have any gold like stackable pieces and i also love the fact that this already came stacked this stuff can get quite expensive um and this one already has three necklaces already in it you know and so um dylan lex is known for like stacking their jewelry and if you're buying three you know pieces three four five you know it can get very expensive so because this one had all three i was like I'm going to get this. Love it so much. And it's chill enough for me to wear every day. I found myself um, in New York like going for it. You know what I mean? And nothing's wrong with that because I feel like that's my natural element. But when I'm at home, um, I won't say it's inappropriate because you guys know I wear whatever I want to wear whenever I want to wear it. I don't care about that. But I can... It is a different vibe, you know what I mean? And so this, I feel like it can fit my aesthetic at home as well. So love this piece. Um, it has like the, mm, is it topaz or like just kind of bronzy stones, kind of like that sits on, like a choker. It also has the flying horse or the unicorn in the middle. And then it has the Hansa um, hand at the bottom. So I love that so much. And yeah, this was really cute. And I will pop up a picture. You guys saw me wear this in my, um, like I said, the Q&A. I also picked up this piece. Now this has the Dylan Lex logo, okay? And I was able to get this piece for 25% off. Um, they are known for like vintage, like distressed jewelry. 
but I guess they felt like this one was a little bit more distressed than they would like. And they gave me 25% off. So I was like, sign me up. And this is definitely a fan favorite at the event. So many girls picked this one up. Chi got this one. Shayna got this one. Um, and this is in the 18 inch. Love the fact that it has the toggle um, clasp because it's super easy. Let me actually try this on. I haven't tried this on since I've purchased it. So this is how it looks on. Um, it's perfect for stacking, I feel. And yeah, this is the 18 inch. So really, really, really cute. At first I was nervous about it because I was like, it's kind of giving Gucci, but it is two Ds instead of two Gs. But yeah, cute, right? <laughs> but yeah, I really love these pieces so much. Um, the packaging was gorgeous. I was not able to bring home the full packaging due to, you know, my luggage and everything, but they had it laid out in like nice boxes and stuff. So quality 10 out of 10, packaging 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed my experience and I'm just so grateful that Carolyn Gray invited me to the event so that I could finally have my own Dylan Lex pieces. So really cute. Next up, I have this Gucci tie. You guys have already seen this. Um, I picked this up. I want to say it's Bergdorf's. When I went to Bergdorf's, they had the best shoe collection for women she told me that that would be like the best place to go for shopping I didn't have time to shop like that I just went in for this tie but um girl they had everything I tried on the Miu Miu um what are they called the like thong boots those were really good and they're a wide calf friendly I have a 15 inch calf and those fit really well and they're real leather so I love that they were like two over two thousand dollars but they were very comfortable and you guys know how I feel about a thong in between the toe that's usually not comfortable for me but the Mew Mews were very comfortable and they look really good on um they only had a seven and a half though which is my size but I would have preferred an eight it's so much foot out and I just felt like a little bit of more space would have been good for me. But anyway, did pick up this tie, of course, from the men's section. I had another Gucci tie that I was going to wear, but the blues were off. So I decided to just go with the heritage piece. Um, and I'm glad that they had this in store. So this is the Gucci monogram and it has the gold bees on there. You guys know my name is Brittany. Okay, so the bees are just right up my alley. I love a bee though. Um, so yeah, this is the tie that I got and this is the tie that I I ended up wearing with the blue pinstripe uh, set that I wore for New York Fashion Week that you guys love so much. I also went to Woodbury Commons, which is the outlets out there in New York, which is like maybe an hour or so away. Um, they had everything. I would highly recommend you guys check that out if you are in the New York area. Um, so I did not have as much time as I would have liked to shop there, but I did go to a couple different stores, um, but I had to get back to the city for another event. Um, I did go by Fendi, which I showed you guys in my vlog. I picked up a pair of sunglasses there and these sunglasses were so cheap. I could not leave them. So these are really cute. Let me um, clean them off because <laughs> I've already worn these. And the reason why I grabbed these were because I felt like they would go so well with my Fendi bag um, that I picked up when I was in Atlanta. So these were really cute. And this is what they look like trying to show you from the side so they have like this line going through the middle they're still dirty um but I love the shape of these I'll try them on I thought the shape was very different very cute and I love a wire frame because I wear units and sometimes when it's like a plastic frame or acetate frame it can kind of irritate so these are really comfortable very lightweight but they still make a statement and I don't have any um glasses with this shape now when I saw these um I was like yeah I'll go ahead and get these and they had another pair that was more like just square and those were the ones that were coming up at like a hundred maybe $115. Um, but these were not showing up in the system. And they were like, no, these are $285. And I'm like, mm, when you ring these up, they're coming up for like $115. Can I get these instead? Because I didn't want the regular square ones. And these were not, you know, coming up. So they went ahead and gave these to me for the price. And I'm so glad that I got these because they're really cute. And they really do match my, um, they really do match my bag. So these are so cute. If I can find these online, I would definitely link them for you guys. But just keep in mind, you know, I did buy this stuff in store and at the outlet. So 
may not be able to find it. I also went by Loewe. Now Loewe had an okay selection. They had some really cute bags, um, but I didn't find that the prices were super, super, super discounted as far as like stuff that I can find online. They were discounted from the original retail. Yes, but not like, you know, I'm a scourer, honey. I know how to find a deal online. So um, I actually went to Loewe for one pair of shoes and I had been looking at these shoes for a few months. I actually called up to Woodbury Commons um, maybe three months beforehand and they didn't have the shoes that I wanted in my size. But guess what? When I walked into Loewe, I saw these and they were the last pair. So I just feel like they had my name on it. They were actually saving these for me. That's at least a story I'm going to tell, okay? And it's these shoes here. These are, um, I don't know what they're called actually, but they're just a leather pair of slide sandals with the seat belt detailing that has the Loewe um, signature right there on it. These are so cute. The heel height is perfect. I would say maybe three inches. Um, very comfortable. And it's just a nice pair of black sandals, slide sandals that you can wear. But they still have a little bit of edge and interest to them. And I just thought these were so cute. These are right up my alley. I love these. I've worn them so many times already y'all so yeah i love these shoes so much and i was so happy to finally get these it didn't take me 30 seconds to like say wrap it up let's go you know my friend was like girl these are meant to be because you were just talking about these shoes so yeah i had to get these love them i believe i paid 600 bucks for these um and three months ago when i had called down there they were 600 so they hadn't gone down even though this was the last pair but yeah, I think they're worth it because they're really well made, real leather, of course, and they're just fun. I love these. Now, these next pair of shoes that I picked up, you guys may be shocked that I picked these up, but um, before New York Fashion Week, me and my mom, we were out shopping and we went to this place here called Shop UAL and they had these like sandals there. And I was like, I just love these shoes. My mom was like, why do you keep looking at these? Why do you keep looking at these shoes? Um, I would say they are fun to me but maybe not naturally my aesthetic, but I'm always attracted to them. So I just kept on like, I really like these, tried them on and everything. They weren't in my size. And my mom was just like, why? I don't get it, right? So when I went to Woodbury Commons, I went to Marnie and I saw these and I could not resist, y'all. It is these gorgeous sheepskin um, sandals. Now, these are very New York shoes. And what I mean by that is like, when I'm in New York, I think I want to be fashionable, but I also want to be comfortable because, you know, it's a lot of walking around. You just kind of never know what you may fall into. And so heels, even though that's my everyday kind of aesthetic, that's not what you do when you're in New York. It's just not feasible. So these are like those statement pieces that you can wear while still being comfortable. And of course, I just had to get them. These were on sale for about... 183 I think um and when I saw them here um in Nashville they were like three or four hundred dollars so I love these the ones that I saw here were in pink and these are obviously black and white which is so me they also have gold buckle detailing and they may be hideous to some of you guys but I just thought they were so cute the way that I can see myself styling these because they're very Birkenstock like um it's with a pair of trousers just like a t-shirt some nice gold jewelry and maybe my Hermes, um, my Hermes Kelly. So I think that would be really cute with this and just very chic, but fun, edgy at the same time. I was actually going to pick up a Marnie bag to go with this because they had like the sheepskin Marnie bags on sale, but my Hermes is really going to take these up a notch. So but like I said, this is definitely a New York outfit. But I'm going to try to make it work here in Nashville. Like I said, trousers, nice, you know, cute little top. And my Hermes Kelly, it's a good transitional sandal because they are real sheepskin. Now, if you're not into that, these may not be for you. Um, but they're really comfortable. They remind me of the Hermes sandals that everyone's wearing that looks like the Birkenstocks and also the fur Birkenstocks as well. But these are just way more extra, you know? So I love these. They're very, very, very comfortable. 
and so good i mean the price was really good on these and yeah very different but super cute now speaking of fur i did go into zara and listen when you're in new york you have to go to zara and h&m um they always have the best stuff okay so i did pick up these which are really cute these are um i would say these are like a dupe or inspired by um, the Burberry new sandals that they dropped, which are in mustard, or you can get a purple pair. And they have the fur, you know, footbed or whatever, and then um, like velvet. So these are the Zara version, which is much cheaper. I believe these were like $89. The price on here says $49.95, but this is in euros. Now, while I was in New York, I looked on the app because of course I'm trying to like cut down on, you know, all the stuff that I'm packing in my luggage and these were not available online. So I was like, I know Nashville's not going to have these. So I went ahead and picked them up. Um, they are $49.95 euros, but I believe they're like $89 in the store. Very cute. Love these. I also have a jacket that I'm going to be showing you guys in a new haul coming up soon and it's going to go so well with these shoes these are so good so comfortable so chic and these like fur sandals are really in right now i'll go ahead and pop up a picture of the jacket just in case it's sold out by the time i get to that uh video but chef's kiss it is by syncocept and it is a gorgeous jacket when you see it in person oh y'all okay but it's gonna go so well with these so yeah i had to pick these up they're really comfortable even though they have the little thong thing in between the toe these were really good so love these so much okay so let's get into some of the other luxury items that i have added to my collection first up we have to talk about these beauties okay now these are the area and sergio rossi um collab shoes and these come in this gorgeous magenta pink color they come in black yellow i believe and i think that's it but my mom actually grabbed these for me and she sent these to me to new york because she's fab and she wanted me to look fab while i was in new york because my outfit that i was going to wear to my meet and greet fell through it was going to be raining and i'm like i don't know what else to wear so i ended up wearing these with just a denim two-piece set and it was a hit i love these shoes so much i will say these are quite comfortable if you plan on just wearing them normally. When I think of comfortable heels, I'm not usually thinking about standing for five hours in heels because I'm like, I know I'm getting out of my car. I may be going in, maybe standing in maybe an hour or two, sit down, get back up. When we were at the meet and greet, obviously we were on our feet the entire time. So these were still very comfortable. I kept them on the whole entire time, but my feet was hurting it by the end. So love these so much they're so intricate so cool um you know it's a standout shoe and i feel like i needed like a standout shoe since my outfit wasn't giving what it was going to originally give so yeah these came in handy i love these the heel height on these i would say is about a four inch heel but they're gorgeous y'all i love these so much so thank you mom for getting these for me and sending these over everything i feel like these are definitely birthday shoes definitely like you know special occasion shoes but y'all know me okay she will throw on a jean and she will throw on a white button down or a white t-shirt and hit it with a bag to match so i love these shoes so much and yeah these next pair of shoes i picked up are from giuseppe zanotti and these are gorgeous these are another pair of shoes that i got before i got those fur ones in new york and i thought these would go with my single step um blazer which it still will but these were on sale and look how gorgeous these are i am really into ox blood right now um beautiful shoes okay they are super high which i love because it gives me height um and i love that these are like a velvet here on the platform but you get this gorgeous patent leather ox blood color they actually match what i'm wearing today but i'm wearing long pants so there's no point in wearing these um these are so good y'all i got these on sale for 300 and something dollars um absolutely gorgeous i forget the name of these shoes too but they're so pretty they come in a million different colorways like they have a hot pink color they have blue they have gold and black they have so many different colors so 
very cute, but these are not for the weak, okay? You, you have to be an avid heel wearer to wear these and not tumble over because they're very high and yeah, but they're comfortable, just very, very, very high. So yeah, what do y'all think about these? I think they're every single thing. I can't wait to wear them. I think they're gonna look so good with tights as well in the fall and winter, but also, you know, just wearing them um, regularly with maybe a dress or my jacket. Um, jeans, whatever have you. Super cute. So my last couple of shoes are from Alexander Wang and this is the box. So let me show you guys. Love these. Got these on sale too. Now these are a gorgeous pair of black pumps and I love these so much. These are satin and they have the um, A's all over them in rhinestone. Very, very, very comfortable y'all. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. Do you see this? This cushion is like a sneaker. Okay, super, super, super comfortable. Now, these do run a little bit big. So I got these in a size 37 and these were final sale. Love, love, love these so much. Okay, these are so good. They fit me and I think that they're good. Now, like I said, these were final sale. They were on sale for $200. Couldn't beat it with a stick. I love them so much that I had to get them in nude. And look at this nude pair. Now these are pretty similar, but they are suede with the mesh detailing and they have the A's all over them in the rhinestones, like, ugh, such a shoe. And the inside is the same. Now I got these in a seven and a half and I could have gotten these in a seven because these are mesh and they are suede. So they are gonna stretch out a bit, but y'all, these are good. Do you hear me? These are so good. Got these on sale for even cheaper. I think these were 150. So I love these shoes so much. These are called the Delphine 105 Heel Height um, Crystal Pump. Very, very, very good. If I can find these, I would definitely link these down below. You need them. The black ones are perfect for, you know, dress up or dress down because they are satin. So they give a little bit of a dressy vibe. But to me, Alexander Wang is always kind of like casual fun, you know? So I love these so much. All right, y'all, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link everything that I can find um, down below in the description box. Just keep in mind all of these things I did kind of buy in store. So I'm not sure you know if I'll be able to find everything but I will definitely do my best. I appreciate your guys' support and please thumbs up this video if you like videos like these and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye y'all!